Hello, YouTube Gamer Dad here. Uh, we are on number, uh, what is this, video 16 in our 2D Space Shooter tutorial series in XNA. And um, I know at the end of the last video I mentioned that, like, oh, we're going to do our font class. Well, I changed my mind again. Um, I did mention in the comment or in the uh, description of that video that we're going to do the enemy class. And that's what we're going to do. Um, we can always add fonts later. We don't need them right now. Um, I kind of wanted to get, once I finalized all the testing with the enemy class, I wanted to get it out there, and then uh, we can play with it from there. Uh, just so you guys know, though, like the enemy class, and you know how our asteroids are kind of static, and they just come straight down. Our enemies are going to be the same way, um, just coming from the top of the screen and, and shooting down at us. But, uh, I mean, don't think that's final. We're, um, this is just getting the classes into the game and working. And then uh, we can do the cosmetic stuff later, like making the ships, uh, the enemy ships move around and stuff like that, so it makes things more interesting. But uh, with that, I want to start by um, addressing a question I had uh, in one of my videos. Um, somebody asked me, they said, uh, I noticed that when you simply press the space bar, you have a hard time firing the bullets. I believe this is because the bullet delay is starting as the button is being pressed instead of after the first shot. Uh, I'm a noob, uh, so I'm not 100% sure how to fix this. Would you mind covering that much? Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> and I know exactly what you're talking about. And um, uh, what, here, let's just run this real quick. Um, I'm sure the rest of you have noticed this too. If you hold down the space bar, there's a little bit of a delay before it actually starts firing. And, uh, you know, in a way you're right. The, the, um, the subscriber was right in the fact that uh, what's happening is when we hit the space bar, it's starting to count down from 20 because that's what we have. If we go to our uh, player class, um, our bullet delay is set at 20 by default. So when you hit the space bar, it starts counting down from 20 then um, instead of firing a bullet initially and then and then counting down. So uh, a couple ways to fix this depending on how you want your bullets to work. Uh, you could just make the bullet delay 1 which there's still a very, very slight delay when you hit the space bar, but you'll never notice it with the human eye because it's, you know, it's it's very small. Uh, um, it's one. So uh, if we if we save this, build a solution, and uh, you're not going to be able to tell because when I'm pushing the space bar, but when I push the space bar, it shoots immediately, and then we'll start the delay. So you don't have that initial delay Actually, the second time you hit the space bar, it's going to delay because it's still doing that countdown. Um, I mean, it's not a, it's not a real big deal. Uh, another way, if you guys don't, if you want, rather fire the bullets when, by tapping the space bar instead of holding it down, um, you can come down here into your update function in your player.cs, and uh, you can put an if key state is key up um, space bar instead of is key down. So then it'll check, uh, it'll check when the key is released, it will set that bullet delay to 1. So you could as essentially, as fast as you can push the space bar, it's going to fire. Um, so we'll do that. We'll save it and run now that I uncommented those. If I tap the space bar really fast, you see as fast as I can push the space bar, this thing is going to fire. And you can still hold it down and get the delay if you want. Um, or you could just remove the uh, is key down uh, method completely and just put the shoot function that we're calling here. I'll show you. You could just remove this all together, um, the is key down, and then just, uh, you know, put your brackets, your curly brackets here and put uh, the shoot function in with the is key up function as well. Uh, so there's different ways of doing it. Uh, I'm just going to delete this for now. And... Uh, you made a, he made a really good point, though, and I will leave our bullet delay at 1. So it does initially, when you first start the game, when you first fire the bullet, it'll, it'll come out of your ship immediately instead of waiting the 20 delay. All right? Um, so with that, we're going to get started on our enemy class. Um, it's going to be a lot like our player class. Uh, it's just, you know, we're not going to have, basically, it's almost the same thing. We're just not going to have uh, controls for the spaceship. We're just going to have them move on their own because, obviously, we're not going to be controlling the enemy ships. Okay? So let's make a new class. Can okay, right-click that, um, add uh, class, and we're just going to call it enemy. Okay, we can just go to our player class, copy the X and A statements that we need, go back to our enemy class, paste them, make the enemy class public like we normally do. 
and we begin here. Um, all right, uh, some stuff we're going to need for our enemy. Uh, we'll start with our, our rectangle for our bounding box. So public rectangle. Called it bounding box, just like our other classes. Um, we're going to have two texture 2Ds. It's going to be a public texture 2D. Um, one is going to be texture, which is going to be the texture for our enemy ship. And then we're going to have another one called bullet texture, which is obvious. It's going to be a texture for our bullets, because like in our player class, we're going to be instantiating um, an ob the bullet class, or actually creating a bullet list within here, like we do in our player class. And we'll want to assign the textures to those bullets so that they're different from the player uh, textures. Bullets. Because we don't want the enemy bullets to look just like ours. That's no fun at all. All right. And then we're going to have um, a vector 2 position. Um, a couple of ints. Uh, we're going to get the health for the enemy health. Um, speed for how fast the enemy ship's going to move. Uh, the bullet delay to, to obviously like our player class is going to decide the bullet delay between shots on our enemy ships. And then um, we can add this now too. It's not We're not going to implement it yet but we can add it just so it's here. Um, just a variable called current current difficulty level. Alright, and what that's going to do, it's just going to be um, a, a number, an int, an integer value that, um, like, let's say you kill 20 enemies and you want the difficulty on them to get harder, you would create a function that would raise their health, you know, maybe their ship speed, uh, maybe decrease their bullet delay to make them a little more difficult, and then we can use that function just to, we can call that whenever a certain amount of enemy kills is met, or something like that. But I haven't I haven't tried it in testing or anything yet. I'm just putting it in here for later use. Uh, a public bool is visible because this is going to be for, like I said, our our lists, so we can remove because the enemies are going to be in a list as well. So um, we're actually going to be doing two lists in this in these next couple of videos for our enemy class. Okay, um, and one more thing, a public list, and it's going to be of type bullet from our bullet class. Um, and we're just going to call it bullet list. Okay, and it's just like our player class. If we go over to our player class, um, we had a list in here for bullets too, so we can handle all the bullets that our player ship is shooting. Same with the enemy, we can handle all the bullets that our enemy ships are shooting. Okay, next is our constructor. And it's public enemy and this is going to take a few arguments. We're going to have a texture 2D, um, new texture. Uh, we're going to have a vector 2, uh, new position. And another texture 2D. And that's going to be the bullet texture. And you'll see um, how this all works uh, in a little bit here. And I'll elaborate some more once we get into actually calling our enemy. Um, because then you can just assign, like let's say we have different ki types of enemies in the game and we don't want, all want them to have the same texture so in just, instead of just setting a, you know, a public texture 2D up here named texture and then in our load content loading that one enemy image and that's always going to be our image for our enemy um, we want a, to, a little variance for this class so that if we want to spawn a different type of enemy you know, we can just um, throw in an argument, you know, a different texture for that enemy, so it'll be a different enemy. And then we can, you know, obviously set its stats maybe a little different or something like that, so it's more powerful than others, or... Um, I think you guys get the idea. Okay. And in the constructor, remember we just set all our variables, um, how we want them to be at the beginning of the game, normally just zero or default uh, values. But uh, we'll set our bullet list equal to new list, type bullet, Okay, we'll set our texture to new texture. I'll go over this in a second. Uh, bullet texture equal to ooh, we want so we want new bullet texture up here. Okay, 
So our bullet texture up here is equal to whatever we assign uh, when we when we call it our constructor. Okay, so bullet texture will be equal to new bullet texture. And then um, let's see what else we got in here. We got health. We'll just start the enemy health at five, and then we'll have like you know our player bullet damage do I don't know uh, one damage per hit or something. So you got to shoot him five times to kill him. But that's all up to you guys um, how powerful you want your enemies to be, or um, completely up to you. Uh, we'll set position equal to new position. Uh, current difficulty level, we'll set that right away even though we're not going to use it right away. We'll just e start it at 1, so the current difficulty level for our enemies will be level 1. Um, bullet delay, we're going to set that up to, let's put that up to 40, so our enemies shoot pretty slow because once we have asteroids coming at us and like, I think I'm going to start with like 3 enemies on the screen, uh, and we have 3 enemies shooting at us and asteroids coming at us, uh, we don't want them shooting too fast or it's going to get pretty hairy pretty fast. So we'll start with 40 and we can adjust it from there. Alright, um, 